Hi. I'm Robo Susie and today I'll talk to you about what is end stage congestive heart failure. Also don't forget to subscribe for more tips in the future. But back to our topic. End stage congestive heart failure is not the technical or official term for the condition, stage D or stage 4 congestive heart failure is considered the final stage of CHF. Similar to end stage renal failure. The end-stage congestive failure often requires an organ transplant to allow the individual to continue living. As CHF is a progressive condition there is a likelihood that individuals that have an earlier stage may progress to stage D. Considering this and the value of time in transplant situations it is important to begin treatment early and to adhere to it consistently. The treatments that are used in earlier stages may also be used in stage D. Some of those methods are listed here. Stage A. Exercise regularly. Quit smoking. Discontinue alcohol or illegal drug use. Some medications may also be prescribed at this point. Stage B. All patients should take specific medications. Some surgery options may exist for specific conditions. Stage C. Restrict dietary sodium. Monitor weight. Restrict fluids. Pacemakers and or defibrillators may be recommended. In stage D, or in stage congestive heart failure, are the patients that have persisting systolic heart failure and advanced symptoms after optimum medical care is given. At this stage a continuous infusion of medication may be necessary. The individual may require end-of-life hospice care as well. In some cases there may be surgeries or research therapies that are appropriate. Some individuals may qualify for and benefit from ventricular assist devices and heart transplants. A doctor should be able to help individuals to understand the specific details of their treatment plan. A key element in successful treatment is that the treatment be continued on a consistent basis. If there are aspects of the plan that an individual cannot or is not willing to do as recommended the doctor should be informed of that. There may be assistance available to help willing patients carry out procedures. In some cases there may be alternate procedures available with comparable efficacy that the patient is able and willing to perform on schedule. That's it. Thank you. Please subscribe, comment and like this video if it was helpful. See you soon.